it's hard enough to manage your money with a full-time job and a regular salary. Now imagine you're part of the gig economy, making money in sporadic bursts, making three times your target in one month, and then not being able to pay your bills for the next two months after that. Our experience in working with creatives has taught us that creators of all kinds, dancers, photographers, independent filmmakers, designers, find it really hard to make good financial decisions simply because we don't know where to start. So we've put together this quick five tip guide on how you can get better acquainted with your finances so that you're able to make financial decisions that will move your career forward. Hi, and welcome to the Creator's Guide. My name is Shakira and I represent that network where we bridge the gap between the creative community and the people who need their services. If you enjoy the work that we do here today, please do support us online by subscribing to our YouTube channel or following us on social media where we give you creative work opportunities, share updates on events that we're doing and give you news and information about what's happening in the creative industries around the country. This series, titled The Creator's Guide, will focus predominantly on giving you practical information on how you can navigate your way through the cultural and creative industries. Since the services that we offer include things like photography, live entertainment, dance and visual arts, the content that we produce in this show will be predominantly focused on people who work within these disciplines. However, the topics that we cover will be applicable to anyone who's wanting to start a small business, become self-employed or who wants to join the freelancing community. We'll cover topics around personal branding, legal matters, finance, and of course, tackling the world of online and social media. Okay, now that you know what we hope to achieve here at the Creator's Guide, let's get straight into talking about five financial tips for creatives in South Africa. Tip number one, find out how much money you make and where you make that money. If you're laughing at this right now, you really shouldn't be, because the reality is that many creatives and artists live gig to gig making a 500 rand here, 800 rand there, and then we've got that client that pays us a good couple of thousand rand, but we're using it just as fast as it's coming in. And I mean, I get it, we all have bills to pay, the money has somewhere to go before it even hits your bank account or your hands. But if you don't know how much money you're making, how are you gonna figure out how to manage it? If you have a full-time job and you're hustling your art on the side, do you know how much money is coming from your job and how much money is coming from your art? We recommend writing down all your income streams, where they come from, how regularly they come in, when they come in, understand which clients you can count on that you know are going to come every single month, which clients come to you maybe every second month, every now and then, which periods are your busy periods, which periods are your quiet periods. You ideally want to get to two main numbers, your base income that you know you can guarantee yourself and then your potential income that you know you'll get on a good month. At least you'll have an idea of what you're working with and you can use that to inform how you move forward. Tip number two. Now that you understand how much money you make, find out how much money you spend. When you're doing this, I want you to think about the two separate entities of yourself. You've got yourself as the personal individual and then you've got yourself as the artist, the creative, or essentially a business. Because being an artist is being a business. So, figure out how much money you need in your personal life. Here we're looking at things like your rent, your data, your petrol, your food, you know, all of those things that you need if you've got a family, how much is your family financial responsibilities, and then think about yourself as the artist or the business. If you're a DJ and you, and you Uber to your DJ sets, how much do those Ubers cost you? You know, if you buy paint on a regular basis, on a monthly basis, how much does a paint cost you? If you hire studio time on a regular basis, how much does that studio time cost you? You need to come up with those two numbers, your expenses and, and its total. So how much money you need to survive as a person and how much money your business needs to survive. Tip number three, get intimately involved with your bank statements. Any bank in South Africa can give you three months bank statements for free. You can get them on your online banking or what we would recommend is going into the bank where they can print as many copies as you need. I would say getting at least two copies of each month and then coming home, getting a highlighter, getting a pen and a little notebook or piece of paper and keeping it next to you while you go through your bank statement transaction per transaction. The idea here is that you want to pick up on trends, you want to pick up on things that you don't understand, and you really just want to almost get to know your financial self. It's very easy for us to just spend money and not really know what we're doing. 
The idea is to write down things that you notice, things that you want to think about later, picking up on your habits. That's why we recommend three months. At that network, we're not financial advisors, so and we also don't know your personal financial position. So we can't actually give you any advice on what you should do moving forward. But everyone inherently has some idea of what their responsibilities are and what they want to change in order to better themselves. If after you've gone through your bank statements, you are still a little bit confused about how to move forward, we would recommend getting some professional advice or speaking to someone who can help you. But this, the idea behind this tip is just to understand how you're spending your money and what your money habits are. Once you know what they are, you should be able to have a better understanding of how you can move forward. Tip number four. This is probably my favorite tip and it is invest back into your professional self. Now, we understand that everybody has personal responsibilities, but it is extremely important to try and make financial provision to invest back into your art. In order to do this, I want you to think about what your goals are for the next few months, for the next year, and then I want you to do the research. Find out how much your goals are going to cost you to accomplish. Make a list of that and then go back and look at your income, your expenses, your bank statement, all of those things. Take the knowledge that you now have after doing tips number one, two, and three, and then look at your goals. Figure out if you can maybe move some things around, how you're gonna make them happen. Maybe you want to release an album later this year and you need some money for marketing. Maybe you wanna buy a new lens that you've been eyeing because it's gonna take your photography to the next level. You know, Maybe you want to host an art exhibition and you need money in order to print all of your pieces. You will only be able to plan properly if you know what the financial investment is going to be in order to take your career to the next level. You'll find that when you know what your goals are going to cost you and you know what the practical steps are going to be in order to accomplish it, you'll be even more motivated to make that happen. It might tell you that you need to get a few more clients to get some extra cash so that you can invest into it or that you maybe need to buy a little bit less KFC every now and then. You know, but once you know what your goals are, you know how much they're going to cost, you'll be able to figure out the way forward or once again, speak to someone who can help you make that happen. Tip number five, try to plan at least one month in advance. Now, I know that this can be really tough because we live in South Africa where financial times are really difficult and things are extremely expensive. But this is the ideal place that you want to try and get to so that you know that you're always covered. What I mean when I say plan a month in advance is that your January income is going to cover your expenses for the month of March because your February expenses are already covered by the month of December. So the money you're getting now is going to pay your bills for skip next month, the month after that. Why we're saying this is because as creatives, our financial future is not guaranteed. At any moment in time, your biggest client could pick up the phone, give you a call and say, I'm sorry, but we unfortunately have to do some budget cuts and we can no longer afford to outsource our design work. What are you gonna do in a situation like that? What if you are meant to play a big gig, but unfortunately the event is canceled due to weather? You were betting on that money and now it's no longer coming in. This happens to creatives all the time and making sure that you have a little bit of a financial cushion to fall on will help you and give you some breathing room so that you're not in a frantic panic when things like this do happen. And that's pretty much it. Try reviewing your plans and your bank statements on a regular basis to make sure you stay on track. Something to note is that even though we're talking about financial terms that are month on month, you can make them any way you want. As creators, we don't necessarily get paid on the 1st or the 31st or the 25th. If your financial term needs to be from the 11th to the 11th, feel free to, to create a term that works for you and most importantly is streamlined with when and how you get paid. Remember that this is not a foolproof plan to becoming rich or solving all your problems, but knowing and understanding your financial position can help clear the path, show you what's possible and inform your next steps. Thanks so much for watching today. Please do remember to check us out online. Our website is www.that-network.com or you can have a look at our social media. It's at that underscore network ZA on all platforms. If you have any topics that you would like us to cover, please feel free to let us know. You can send us an email or just drop it in the comments below.